back. It's 14 minutes past eight. It's the show that the comic stuff to hate. No, 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 not us. It's been described as being as exciting as watching paint dry with more props than an Angora sweater. But today, cross sorry about that, too. Crossroads <laughs> celebrates the 20th anniversary. And despite that flagging, 14 million fans, and that's the answer, including the Queen Mom, can't be wrong. Reporter Tina Baker paid a visit to Central Television in Birmingham, home of Britain's most famous hotel, to join the Crossroads celebration. Hello, Crossroads Motel, can I help you? Twenty years ago, these words started what was going to be a six-week series with a working title, The Midland Road. But now, Crossroads has become a national institution and the show's characters have many fond and funny memories of their time on the show. I think the time when I was, uh, they thought that I'd murdered the girl in the garage, I think that, that's an incredible re reaction to that. I mean, people were writing in saying they were going to get cricket pitches if it wasn't proved that I was innocent. It was the Benny of Innocent campaign, wasn't it? That was it, yeah, I was amazing that. But it was lovely because I think it was done with tongue in cheek, you know. Um, well, the best one's got to be when Sue came back to me after having left me for another colour. Does she actually mistake you for a bad day? No, I don't, I don't need to, but, but fortunately, because we, we mix quite a lot socially, and I'm going to get you in the because I'm in a bad time, uh, she does know me and, and she re reacts very well. She's not suffering from a bad day or anything? No. No, no, she's not. The little dad's got a beard. The little dad's got a beard, which helps. Mm. So she knows, mind you, he grew a beard. Yeah, I grew a beard during the break. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> I this up this morning, I got really confused. The comics might mock, but with the millions of fans, the Crossroads crew can afford to celebrate. program, of course, we're joined by two Crossroads stars, Sue Hansen, who plays Diane, and Tony Morton, who played Carlos for the very, very early Crossroads viewers. What do you think, um, what do you think was the secret of Carlos, the chef? Because, I mean, his character has lasted. Through the yeah, well, I mean, it was good therapy. We're all used to this on, on the box, aren't we? And if um, uh, a Harris mother had got the kids around her feet and Carlos said, get out of the kitchen, I mean, he said the very thing she was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> And he, he was a nice friendly type as well. He oh, he was greatly friend. loved, yeah. That was hard to uh, uh, keep up, I tell you. you know. and when you play villains, you, you get um, a measure of respect. <laughs> <laughs> but if everybody loves you, it makes a difficult life. Now, we've got some clips of um, yeah. old Crossroads cross oh, moments oh, for you. Sure? Oh, yeah, right. we've got yeah. some vintage, vintage pictures. Oh, great. Oh, Let's have a look. This one, of course, I think most people remember, is Meg's wedding. And, of course, it's had a huge build-up oh. in the press. And millions of people... Excuse what? me. Can you tell me if this is the way to the royal enclosure, Ascot? Oh, he's comical, isn't he? I mean, he's comical. I think we ought to leave all the jokes up to him. Good morning, Stan. Good morning. Well, I mean, you look very grim. I thought this was supposed to be a happy occasion. Yes, well, we're getting into the mood. Gradually. Yeah, well, you haven't got much time. The cars are waiting. Jules sent me to find you. Come on, we're due to start off any minute now. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I declare you husband and wife. Oh. Not a dry eye in the house. What a lot of water flowed under the British sand. Yes. Of course, the Sandy, Roger Tom. Yes, definitely. Do you, guys, do you get amazed that people in real life take what goes on in the soaps so seriously? Not really, no. I, I'm very flattered they do because that's one's job to do precisely that. If they didn't take me seriously, I'd be very worried. And as Henry was saying earlier, we were so pleased that you survived the fire. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Fire is another one of those magical moments. So, yeah, so good. We'd like to let you see it again. I'll never forget it. I still suspect you did it. And I don't know. Oh, my God! It's an hotel! It's on fire! Fire! Ah! Thanks for you. Where are you going? 
Not afraid of fire anymore, Benny. Sam! Oh dear me. Oh dear. I remember one of the scenes we had, which was very difficult not to laugh. I had to say, the switchboard is in ashes. <laughs> I'm always worried about that. <laughs> and Dennis Taylor, the Snooker yeah. champion, has been with us all morning. Are you a great Crossroads fan? Um, Crossroads and Coronation, sir. I enjoy yeah. watching Coronation. Like I think everybody likes those yeah. Thank you very much for joining us this yeah. morning. I've been wondering what everybody tell me what are you doing on Bonfire Night? Celebrating? No, I suppose that's what hold a spark that a lot of pills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So, how will you spend it? Will you well, celebrate? I'm going to see the boyfriend in all the theatre. How about that for a plug? That's very <laughs> good. What's his name? Pardon? What's the play? The boyfriend. Oh, you're going to see the boyfriend? Yes, yeah, but I wondered for a moment. I thought maybe it was a social indiscretion. No, no, no. <laughs>